Welcome back. Our first guest is a two-time Grammy winner, over three million albums he has sold, featuring songs like I Lost on Jeopardy and Fat. His uh, new motion picture is called UHF. It's playing at virtually every theater in America. He also co-wrote it. Please welcome Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> You don't seem all that weird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, I have to tell you before we start, Dan Miller told me he was walking past your desk dressing room and what? Well, I hope I'm not revealing anything you don't want to be known, but I saw you on the floor with your feet up the wall. Am I right? That's correct. Okay. And you that were, was the guy in my dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> and you were alone as you were doing this? Yeah. Is this some sort of a meditative uh, thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, I want to get into the kind of zen experience of being on your show. Because, you know, ever since I was about 10 years old, I wanted to be on the Pat Sage yeah. show. That's such a, <laughs> such a big picture. Yeah. And, you know, the same show as Michael Jackson. I mean, what a programming crew. <laughs> it's really great. I love it. Yeah, it's kind of an all-music night. We're cool in the gang, Michael Jackson and you. Yeah. I mean, this is, uh, what more can you ask for? Now, are you, when I think of rock stars, and I think of groupies, and yet when I, th when I think of Weird Al Yankovic, I don't know that I do. Uh, do, you, do you have, are there Weird Al groupies who chase you around and... Uh... Well, every once in a while, some woman on the East Coast will mail herself to me in a box, and it's just not a pretty sight if she didn't put air holes in it, so... Oh, uh, no, a lot of people recognize me on the street. I'm kind of a, kind of hard to miss, I guess. Yeah, now, um, do, you, do you dress like this uh, if you're just out to buy some bread and milk? Well, maybe not the same underwear, but uh, mm, generally... Pretty much, else. yeah. yeah. Mm. You know, I'll be driving... You know, the, the, the problem with being recognizable is after a while you start to assume that people know who you are, so I'll be driving around and somebody in the next end will honk their horn and they'll go, hey, how you doing? They'll go, get out of my way, you jerk! <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. Now, do you, uh, when you do these parodies, do these people, do they get upset? Do they like it? Is it a compliment? Is it an insult? What? Do they sue you? No, because I do get their permission ahead of time. Oh, you do? So, yep. So if they, they said no, you wouldn't do it. No, and it's very rare. Usually nobody, uh, most people can take a pretty good, have a good sense of humor of themselves. Yeah. But did, did you do a song about Vanna White once? Did oh, yeah, that was, that was in a parody. That was an original called Stuck in a Closet with Vanna White. It goes, stuck in a closet with Vanna White, stuck in a closet with Vanna White, stuck in a closet with Vanna White, <laughs> night after night after night after night. Boy, oh, that's good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I wrote that. <laughs> now, how about your family? Are they, are they uh, do they understand you? Are they happy with you? Are they proud when they see you out here looking like this? Um... <laughs> I mean, I, mean that in the kind, I mean that in the kind of sense. I mean, you know, they sent you to college and everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they think I'm an architect. I haven't told them about this stuff yet. <laughs> I'm going to break it to them gently. Yeah. yeah. Did you really want to be an architect? Was that, did you study? I got a degree, yeah. At one point, I yeah, got a, went to uh, Cal Poly San Luis Obispo for four years, got my degree. I still use it as a, a drink coaster and a bookmark. And so it comes in handy. <laughs> Why architecture? What, what, uh, what do you like? Well, um, I was kind of in a hurry to choose a major, and it was listed first in the school catalog. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Sure. Well, that, that, makes, that makes sense. I guess zoology would have been way out of the question for you, sure. Now, what, when did you do your first song, the first recording? When did... Oh, that was uh, 10 years ago when I was uh, oh, still in college. And uh, it was My Bologna, a parody of My Sharona by the Knack. Oh. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you, Lunch and Meat fans. Uh, 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 big, uh, was it a big recording contract? Ooh, no, it was, it was something I did for the Dr. Demento show. I recorded it in the bathroom across the hall from my campus radio station because sure. I was a struggling college student. I couldn't afford to go into a real recording studio. So there with the accordion, I recorded my Bologna, and of course nowadays you use 24 track bathrooms. Oh yeah, because you know, much technology. Yeah. Much but it, you, you sound good in the bathroom. We all sound good in the bathroom. Oh, thanks. The reverberation is nice. Uh -huh. and nice acoustically perfect tiled walls. Okay. Sure, sure. Now speaking of the, of the, uh, the uh, oh. instrument you mentioned, we just happen to have... Oh great. The, <laughs> the accordion back here. Oh, I've had you thought of everything. Um, it, now, what, what, what uh, drove you Shall to this? <laughs> no. What drove you to this instrument? Well, my, uh, my parents had the for foresight to realize that uh, uh, accordion music would dominate 20th century American pop culture. So I they, uh, <laughs> just glad they yeah, you can't go anywhere. the forefront of the accordion yeah. rock movement. You can't go anywhere with hearing the damn yeah. things. Now, are you, are, you, are you good at this? Are you a good accordion well, player? Well, I haven't uh, played in a little while. I'll, let me play the, the very first song I ever wrote. This is, uh, oop, let me unhook it there. Yeah. Right. Get, it, get it in tune. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> this, is a, this is a very sad... <clears throat> this, is a, this is a very... This is a very sad number. This is called... 
Mr. Frump and the Iron Lung. Uh. <laughs> I visit Mr. Frump in the hospital. I see him most every day. Everybody. And when I see Mr. Frump in his iron lung, this is what I hear him say. We'll take a break here, and, okay. and we'll come back, and you have this movie. Maybe you'd like to chat about it. Wow. Well, okay. We'll, we'll drag it out of you. It'll be fine. Weird Al Yankovic, folks. We'll be right back. <laughs>